Good morning to you and welcome back. We are starting off with a chill in the air. You might encounter some patchy frost as well, but it will be a comfortable day and maybe a great day to go for a cruise. Check out the scenery, maybe some patchy color as well. We will be in a typical fall day across the UP, so some sunshine and some 60s. Not much for color though. It's quite patchy across the region and this picture comes to us from Mary. Thanks to sharing that with us. Uh, there are uh, on this picture, you can see just a little bit of some oranges and a, a tree that's a little red that's been turning there, but still a lot of greenery. We're expecting a lot more color, though, as we head into next week in the beginning of October. But our interior areas across the UP and the higher elevations are noting more patchy color change. Not much, though, across the eastern counties or along the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Today, you can expect a typical day for this time of year, 60s, mid 60s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes interior areas, upper 60s, 63 is the normal for this time of year. A mix of sun and clouds today with a wind flow out of the southeast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. There might be an isolated shower or two across the south central and east end. This is 1030 in the morning, but you can see most of the day fairly dry. Still that isolated rain potential into the afternoon. Most of the rain pushing east of the UP for the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. And then basically a dry stretch of weather will follow as we head into Wednesday all the way through next week. Over and across the region, we're looking good this morning. No big hazards out there at Hancock, Marquette, or over at the Mackinac Bridge. Here's a satellite radar loop. A few isolated rain showers in the south central areas of the UP, Menominee County, Menominee into Marinette. A few sprinkles there. This area of low pressure in the central plains will continue to bring in some rain today for the lower peninsula, coupled with this upper level trough in the jet stream, which will push east by tomorrow. And a big ridge of warmer air will replace it across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes for the remainder of the week. So we're looking at above normal conditions starting tomorrow, extending through next week across the upper Midwest and into the Great Lakes. So a nice warm stretch of weather back into the 70s and we'll make note that that starts to occur tomorrow. So low to mid 70s expected for high temperatures tomorrow. And I think that since they're just lower to mid 70s, we'll still have some good color change here. But because we had such a warm September, that color change has been pushed back for about a week. I think we'll likely start to reach peak colors the first week of October in the western UP and the second week of October in the eastern counties of the UP. Ideally, we want mild, sunny, dry days and cool overnights, and that's exactly what we have.